the weird history of the cell theory. There are three parts to the cell theory. One, all organisms are composed of one or more cells. Two, the cell is the basic unit of structure and organization in organisms. And three, all cells come from pre-existing cells. To be honest, this all sounds incredibly boring until you dig a little deeper into how the world of microscopic organisms and this theory came to be. It all started in the early 1600s in the Netherlands where a spectacle maker named Zacharias Janssen is said to have come up with the first compound microscope, along with the first telescope. Both claims are often disputed as apparently he wasn't the only bored guy with a ton of glass lenses to play with at the time. Despite this, the microscope soon became a hot item that every naturalist or scientist at the time wanted to play with, making it much like the iPad of its day. One such person was a fellow Dutchman by the name of Anton von Leeuwenhoek, who heard about these microscope doohickeys, and instead of going out and buying one, he decided to make his own. Once Leeuwenhoek had his microscope ready, he went to town looking at anything and everything he could with them, including the gunk on his teeth. He must have had a lovely bunch of bacteria to look at. While Leeuwenhoek was staring at his teeth gunk, he was also sending letters to a scientific colleague in England by the name of Robert Hooke, who we can thank for the term the cell, as he was looking at a piece of cork under his microscope, and the little chambers he saw reminded him of cells, or the rooms monks slept in in their monasteries. So if something bores you, dig deeper. It's probably got a really weird story behind it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs>